Hey, what's up, everybody? Coach Swift. Uh, a lot of y'all are making very good progress, and I'm happy to hear about that. Uh, and for as much progress as everybody is making, uh, there's going to be some frustrations along the way. So I want to talk about all those. Um, you know, one way, like, it, it gets tough to look at all the progress you're making, okay? Um, and even if you're not looking at the scale, you're like, I'm so frustrated because ABC was going well, then XYZ came and happened, and it derailed me, and I'm just not in it right now, and it shouldn't be that uh, tough and demanding on me. I've done harder stuff in my life. Uh, let's try to look at a different perspective on here. Um, if you say that meeting your low carb amounts is tough and you're going over, let's say you had to do 100 uh, grams of carbs on your low carb days, and man, I keep going to like 120. So one, yeah, yeah, you are going over, but two, let's look at are you less than what you were before? If you were like 150 to 200 grams of carbs before, then you're making progress, okay? So you need to remember, remember where you were before versus where you are now. Um, even if you feel like you're falling short of your plan and not going as well. Uh, two, are you cooking a lot more food, food that's healthier, nutrient dense, um, lean proteins, lots of vegetables? Uh, are you reading food labels a lot more to try to measure things out and uh, just get a little bit more accurate with your intake? Are you uh, trying to get more sleep? Are you trying to manage stress better? Are you making more time to work out three days a week? And I just work out three days a week. Hit the weights, challenge yourself, get a little stronger, build some muscle, uh, find more walking routes and everything throughout the day. Are your clothes fitting better? Uh, do you wake up and have more energy throughout the day uh, and you need less coffee? Are you being more mindful of what you put in your coffee? Uh, so basically what I'm saying is, you know, for as much things as you feel like you're not uh, doing 100% right away or as often, try to look at is it better than it was, you know, several weeks ago before you started working with me. Um, if you say, okay, it's like 20% butter. Can we get to 30% butter? Yeah, I can do that. Then how can we do that? Let's figure that out, all right? So when you have these frustrations with me, uh, one, I want you to be open and honest with me about them. Uh, two, I also want you to remember Am I better now than I was before? Like, by how much would I say? Once again, 20%, how can I get to 30%? Then later on, several you know, weeks or a month later, how can I get to 40%, so on and so forth. Everything will get better from there. It'll all compound, okay? And you have me by your side and everybody else in the group to help uh, motivate you, okay? So keep this in mind to not get stuck on one little detail and feel like a failure. Count up all the wins that you can and all the improvements that you made. And understand that if you maintain all these improvements as much as possible, everything will come full circle. If you fall off the wagon, you get back up and you climb back on, you get back in the wagon, okay? Um, once again, come to me for all of these uh, frustrations and solutions and actions, and we will make sure that you get set on the straight path mentally and physically, and you'll see all the results, okay?